PlayStation has been around for over 20 years, but has never had an official mascot over in the West. You might be saying, PlayStation did have a mascot. Crash, right? Well, like I said earlier, an official mascot. Crash was a mascot, but he wasn't owned by Sony, making him an unofficial mascot. So I decided to do some research and find a suitable mascot for Sony America. First, what is a mascot? A mascot is a person, animal, or object used as a symbol to represent a group. You have Mario for Nintendo and Master Chief for Xbox. And one thing those mascots have in common is their publicity. With that, what is the most popular PlayStation exclusive? Obviously, I can't ask a bunch of gamers what they think when they hear PlayStation, so I'll just go off of sales. Number three, we have Ratchet and Clank at 13 million. Number 2, Uncharted at 14.5 million, and number 1, Gran Turismo at 50 million. Splitting the gap between Gran Turismo and Uncharted is Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, and those aren't owned by Sony, which is why they aren't included. Looking at the sales, I was actually surprised. I expected Uncharted to be the top selling, and I thought Jack and Daxter would be higher than Ratchet and Clank. No offense to Insomniac. And even though Gran Turismo is the best-selling franchise, I think Uncharted has it beat in the popularity contest. But from the subtle hints that Naughty Dog has given us that Uncharted 4 is Drake's last adventure, I think making him the mascot would be a little weird if the series ended. So who is next in line? Ratchet and Clank. And Sony did have him as kind of a mascot in the ALS video. But as much as I love these two, I don't see that really happening. So who's next? Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us? They might not have the numbers and sales to compete with these guys, but they sure do have the publicity, winning over 200 awards in 2014. And it's kind of hard to think of PlayStation without thinking of The Last of Us. But who knows if Naughty Dog will make The Last of Us a series. Wait, I've left out one important thing. This whole time I've specifically said an American mascot, which means Sony Japan has a mascot. But who is he? Inoue Toro, also known as the Sony Cat, has been Sony Japan's mascot since 1999. But why is he the mascot? Well, in the 90s, Sony was looking for a mascot for Sony Japan and over in America. And in America, there were two in line for the job. Crash and Spyro. And we all know how those two turned out. While Crash and Spyro were captured by Activision, Toro was created for the sole purpose of being a mascot. Since I don't have the power to just ask a bunch of gamers around the world, this is where you guys come in. Would you guys like a mascot made for Sony America like Toro was? Or would you guys like a well-known character like Ratchet and Clank to be the mascot? Leave your comments down below. I'm Yamada Kuzunae, and I'll see you guys in the next video.